Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest Builders. So Pippa is a cool person, and everybody likes her. I don't know if I want to build as many of these as physically possible. Let's just go one at a time and see where we go. Ooh, I can actually make the fancy doors now. And a shovel! Ooh. Ooh. Okay, well, let's make a few more. Where the heck am I going? What is my plan, even? Okay, so we need to come here. We need an iron sword. Because you gotta defend yourself. We need a sledgehammer. Convenient that my last hammer just broke, so I have to make a new one anyway. We, of course, need armor. And we need a shield. Then we need to look at our equipment, and we need to equip everything. And we can kind of unequip those. And go to our equipment and take them out of here so we don't have to worry about them anymore. Yeah! Look at this set! Looking good! All covered in metal! All right. So, of course, I, I know I record these far enough in advance that I have no idea how everyone is responding to me praising Pippa. But, like, I don't know. It could be going over horribly, and I'm just here going like, man, but Pippa's all right. Shut up. Um, okay, so we did that. What else am I doing today? Not... Man, I, like, didn't even have a plan. Just, hey, I'm just gonna go start running and see where we end up. No, what I need to be doing right now is making a brick barbecue back in town. But instead, here I am. I'm actually kind of running low on these. So I'll take some more. And from there, we never got a really good look out here. Any fancy blocks or anything that happened to be going on out here. It was also getting dark and we were running for our lives. Seems mostly like stone walls and flagstone floors. And that prison block that I cannot break. Even with this? Can I not break it even with this? Nope. Indestructible. Anything further this way, now that I'm thinking about it? Not really. That's kind of it. You can climb the mountain. And there is, if memory serves, there is stuff going on on the other side. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah, there's something going on over there. I don't know who saw me. Somebody saw me. That's fine. Oh, an island. Ah, there's a path through the water leading out there. All right. Well, let's go. Ow. Man, wouldn't what I wouldn't do for some boots or something very similar that removes fall damage. Man, so what kind of fancy stuff we got here? All kinds of fancy stuff, that's what we got. I mean, I charged it up, so I have to let it go now. So that's a little frustrating. But it's nice, because, like, hey, all this stuff, I can just do this. 
and now we don't have to sit here for three years mining everything. So what else we got going on here? More iron? Couple of rubies. I'm not gonna kill myself grabbing as much as I can possibly grab. Because there's just not a... Like, I should have plenty. I've picked up 31 iron just in coming here. And I've already built all my iron gear, so I don't have to worry that much about it. But hey, what about this? What about this island way out here? Yeah, almost can't see it through the reflection on the water if you go head on. Gotta look down. Hey, not a lot going on out here. I mean, a couple little things. Already getting to be nighttime, of course. Because, you know... Entire nighttime. Hey, whoa! Nice little graveyard you got there. How you doing, guy? I will stab you. Yay. You know, times like this, I start to wonder what Ogre's up to. Guess we'll never know. Okay, so we learned how to make gravestones, so that's pretty rocking. I don't know if there's a way to get out of here, a nice way to get out of here. I want to say, I think you can go through a cave? and come out the other side. But if you can't, then I'm going to be disappointed. Good old dead ends. How about this side? What's over here? Anything good? Anything fancy? Just more supplies? Like, supplies are cool. Supplies are indeed quite cool. I know it! Mimics! Block mimics. I think they're technically called block slimes. Rude! Can't you see I'm working here? Okay, well, we made it. We made it, and there's this big old mountain here in the way. Come on, get up there. So let's see what we got going further ahead. Because that over there is where the prison was. So there's a bunch of grass over there, so we're gonna have to... I will probably reserve that for another time. For now, let's go ahead and take a look at what's up here, and then maybe make our way over to that pyramid. Because we saw it, it was like over there somewhere. Mountains turning into hills. Go down a little bit. Okay, it looks like this hill section is actually going to be a little more of a deal than I expected. Where am I going? Let's go this way. Okay, so that's actually the end of that. The hills kind of go out, so that's something to explore. But first, let's head back down off these mountains over here, because this is where we saw... Oh, I'm in a bad spot. Bad spot. Still kind of a bad spot. Okay, we're fine. 
We're fine. Means we can run through this water, at least. Because it's just a channel of water. And look at that pyramid. Ooh, more of those big armor guys. These guys, but silver. Still go down simply enough, so at least there's that. Man, look at this big old pyramid, though, full of blocks that I can't break. And voices? Murmuring coming from within? Look, there's a pyramid. You gotta climb up to the top of it. Oh, I am not jumping down there. That is gonna kill my sorry butt right off. Okay, there was this. Front door. Well, if diving in through the top isn't isn't a very good idea, let's try, try the front door. You know, because the front door is never guarded that well. Ooh. Oh, people! They're praying? A couple idiots over there? And those look like the statues I need! Alright, tell you what, I'm gonna get back to that in one second, because right here is a dirt wall. I hate dirt walls. But that actually leads to a huge bit of this underground... Huge underground bit here in the in the in the place. Wow, there's really nothing here. So keep your eyes open. There may be more dirt walls, but otherwise we wanna we wanna get up and explore. Because there's treasure. Oh yeah! Gimme some of that noise! Man, that feels almost exactly like something I was describing earlier. Oh, I'm starting to get a little hungry. So, Featherfall Footwear. As long as you have these, you equip them in an accessory slot, which you can equip two accessories at a time. Um, as long as you have these equipped, you take zero fall damage. Ooh, and a fireplace. So it does not matter how far I fall, you'll still hit the ground and kind of go, ugh, when you land like you took damage. You just take zero damage. Man, if you ever wanted any... Ever wanted any sconces. Here you go. Okay, so I think this was the way. So we get up here. Yeah. All the people. Those guys are even well dressed. Are there people over there? Yeah, there are people over there. Maybe if I like sneak behind them. They're all prey. I mean, I guess in times like this, you'll start praying to the Dragon Lord. Praying to evil entities. Man. Look, guys. Look, guys. We're gonna do it. We're gonna make it. I'm gonna get... I'm gonna... Hi. You don't see me. But I will take these. Don't mind me just taking an evil idol. And they all turned into skeletons. And wizards. Hmm. That's a lot of guys. I'm leaving. Later. I'm not fighting all of you. I got better things to do with my time. Like not fight you guys. Okay, we're free, sort of. I did it, yeah. Man, that was rough.
There's a lot of guys in there. Were they always monsters, though? Were they always monsters praying? Look, I know this is stupid, but I want to go back in. Maybe I can, like... Maybe I can, like, peek in. Like, were they always monsters? Were they humans? Were they actually humans? They got turned into monsters? We're all humans. That's, uh... That's distressing. Well, uh, we did some things today. Some things I'm more proud of than others. But I... We should get out of here. Go home. Look, guys, that looked cool, but I'm so happy I nailed that first try. Okay, so we have the idols. We have the things. That's Rolo. Before we do that, though, uh, Pippa wanted food. So let's see what we can make in a brick barbecue. We can make it on this. How do you make a brick barbecue? That's how you make a brick barbecue. I need a cook fire. Well, I just happen to have a cook fire. Oh yeah, because the, I destroyed the lights once so stuff. It doesn't even take up the full spaces. Barbecue chicken! What do I want to make? Okay, so I made this. Now what do I do? I've got to make something for Pippa. Maybe if I go back out. Maybe if we go talk to that, go back and talk to that chef again. Maybe. Just maybe. Let's go do that real quick. We're gonna go talk to that chef again. We made the brick barbecue. Nope, he's not there. But, I have an idea. Make a meal out of meat and wheat, she says. It may be that we have the capacity to make it, we just haven't thought about it. And you know what we've done? Not make a meal out of wheat. We, ne we got wheat, but we never made bread, so let's make some bread. Maybe. Oh, yeah, I can make a bread basket, nice. Not quite what I'm looking for. But, um... Oh, I can cook that, uh, that corn steak. Bunny burger! Meat and wheat! Meat and wheat, what is this? 80%! Mmm! And increases attack power for a time. And man, Pippa comes running. Because that is exactly what she was looking for. I made... A hamburger. Hmm. Maybe, maybe stick with things that we can eat. 
Like, maybe just stick with making things that we can eat from things we can already eat. Yeah, we did it, though. We got a burger. Okay, so, we got a burger, we helped out Pippa, what else do we got going for us? Hey Rolo, I got those, I got those evil idols. Steel stockade? That is a good question. Or, you know, a lot of monsters. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure the monsters are going to like us less and less. Especially if they have just been watching us because they know who we are. We can't... I don't know. I don't know about this. Well? I got these. So these are cool and dangerous. And they got butts. These are cool and dangerous because you put them down and they're big. And they do that. That fire will hurt you. Just keep that in mind. Okay, so it needs to be one further away from the door. So what is that? Three, so we need four spaces between door and it. So that would be these two. That was my fault. There we go. See, there we go, now look at that. So we got these big old guys, and like, you can make it through easy enough. But, that's something we're gonna have to be aware of. But it'll make for good defenses. Actually, I think I have some more spikes. And this is going to get risky. Do this without irritating them. There we go. So get two layers of spikes here. That means most enemies will come here to this door. So they'll be getting burned and they'll be standing on enough spikes. They don't have to be right up against the door. I may still get some more spikes, get maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more spikes. Just to kind of fill that out so we're good. But otherwise, we're gonna be pretty alright with that. So, until next time, everyone. I may tidy things up a little bit, but otherwise, we're more or less settled. And ready to rock.